It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. And in today's video, we got another Guild War Weekly. In today's video, though, I want to do things a little different. I want to expand upon the usual videos that I do uh, involving my Guild War fights. I want to talk a little bit about my team decisions and a little bit about the fight in particular. But before we get into that, I do want to mention I live stream Monday through Friday. Uh, schedule is on the screen now. So I would love for you to join me. Um, consider turning on notifications so you get reminded whenever the live stream goes up. Uh, the live stream does go to YouTube as well as Facebook. However, the YouTube side of things allows you to use the custom emojis and all of that. I, I do also want to mention that HeroWarCentral.com is my website and it is the thing that I'm spending the most time on right now. I know that there are a lot of things like this out there, but this is mine. This is going to be my legacy and I'm, I could use your help. I could absolutely use your help. So if you go to HeroWarCentral.com, uh, link is in the description box down below. Um, you hover over the home button and then click on projects. There's going to be a list of projects that I have uh, have requested some help with. Um, and this is everything from uh, moderating on my Discord to you know being a guest blog writer to even participating in some of my live streams. Uh, so if you're interested at all, in doing more for the community or helping me do more for the community, um, I would be interested in you reaching out on me, uh, reaching out to me on Discord. Now, some of these, some of these things I will happily uh, pay you for. Some of these things I will happily give you in-game items for if there's, if that's a possibility for your platform. Uh, but other things, I'm sure that you'd be willing to do um, just, just to help build the community. So, uh, if any of those things, and I'll be adding to it constantly. If any of those things interest you, please reach out and uh, see if we can help each other build up this game even more than it already is. So each of these fights that took place this past week, and uh, just to clear it out, we're on server 25 on Facebook. I'm part of the Shadows Guild. We made it to, I believe, rank six in the Silver League this week. We did not have to fight for our position in the Guild, uh, Silver League on Saturday. So this is uh this is all the fights we have this week, these five fights. And if you take a look at the uh, the victories and defeats, the two losses that we have to Divine Awakening and Isher Order, uh, it looks like we lost by a pretty large margin. This is probably due to the fact that our guild is more in line with uh, Red Cross, Le Cavalier, and Fight Club in overall power level and consistency. And uh, Divine Awakening and Isher Order are two of the guilds that are probably vying for the, uh, the 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 final gold league positions every weekend. So um, this is probably a good week overall for us. It did not come without a few uh, snafus on my part, but let's uh, let's kind of get into the fights. Let's get into the first fight. Now there are 10 fights in total, uh, five days in the week, two matches per day. Generally speaking, my guild generals ask me to do hero fights. Uh, this is a much older server than some of the other servers that you might see out there. So a lot of the Titans... Uh, are much more developed than my team is, and you know, add into the fact that you have the um, you have the addition of Titan skins and Titan artifacts. Those players that have been playing longer uh, are going to have much more of a, a, a higher higher tier Titan team. That's not to say that I'm not bringing mine up. I am, but I'm just not on the level yet. But a lot of these fights, I am uh, on under underpowered by 100 to 200 thousand power, and that just shows you the overall uh, effectiveness of Kark teams. Now, this first fight against Clad. Uh, this is a Galahad physical attack team. Um, typically, I win these fights. I like to throw in uh, Jorgen. I use Oliver as the team pet. I am bringing up Axel, so I plan to use Axel more and more as I uh, level him up. But this fight, I, I won I won pretty well. I, I feel like I, I didn't have any issues with this. The main consideration with this team is using Jorgen to slow down Galahad's energy gain and damage output, uh, and also timing my Kark and faceless ultimates to not go off when Fenris, the enemy Fenris pet, uses his blind ability on my team. So that's that's really the you know that that really is all there is to say about this fight.
The second fight against Species 8472, this was a much higher tier team, uh, over 200,000 power higher than what I had. Uh, I thought this might be a tall order, and looking at it, it was a Twins team with Cleaver up front, and I actually experimented with this. I, I probably shouldn't have, but I experimented a little bit. I actually pulled my tank out. I let Kark tank this fight. The reason why, the reason why, I had faith. I had faith that I could kill the enemy faster than the opposing Cleaver could stop me. Jorgen is effective at slowing down Cleaver's hook ability. Faceless being in the back of my team was a big concern going up against Cleaver. However, I found great success using the Kark Kai Faceless Sebastian team against Twins. All right, throwing out the tank because the Twins teams effectively hit everybody on the team. They don't really do a ton of upfront damage like, uh, like a Galahad team does or maybe even like a Ginger a uh, ginger team or uh, you know in some cases a yasmin team so i thought that kark could tank and i was right i was uh, i was able to success to su successfully use kark as a uh, quote unquote off tank uh and i was able to use kai's damage output and vampirism uh faceless's violet passive magic defense and uh, sebastian's ability to reduce debuffs to great effect and i was able to win this fight so tuesday Against Divine Awakening, uh, we overall didn't fare as well. We did we did lose uh, this fight, and I went one for one. First off, against Scotty Too Hotty, I will be honest with you, I forgot, I forgot to put my tank back in. I left the same tank in from Monday. I'm sorry, the same team in there from Monday. That Kark Kai Faceless Jorgen Sebastian team. Somehow, I was still able to win this fight, and I think it has to has to do with the fact that. Uh, the enemy was using a Dark Star, and Dark Star is almost a dead hero against my team. Um, not always, of course. Using using my Jorgen to slow down the enemy Galahad basically shut that team down. But the overall damage output on this uh, defending team was much lower than any other team that I faced this week. Having two tanks, Galahad and Astaroth, having Martha as a healer, not an offensive healer at all. There are certainly more offensive healers. Dorian, Celeste, uh, and Thea are way more offensive healers. And Darkstar just didn't do that much damage. And you can see none of these heroes really did much damage. So even though I forgot to change out the team uh, to add my tank Astaroth back in, I still was able to come out victorious. Uh, the second fight against Mac, not so good. I actually kept the same team in. Kark, Faceless, Kai, Jorgen, and Sebastian. I actually kept that scene, the same team in because my theory that, you know, going up against the twins, you don't need a tank and uh this team i thought would i'd, I'd had even better chance against because they didn't have a tank they were using krista as their tank uh krista lars jorgen martha sebastian turns out they were just too high they're, they're just too far higher leveled uh than than i was in the right places even though this team was about fifty thousand power less than the last ones team i fought i did not finish this team off and that was just unfortunate i got really close um i used the team pet uh incorrectly I'm sorry, correctly, I used um, I used Mara. I used Mara against Twins teams because uh, she does bonus damage to stunned enemies and I do a ton of stun damage with Kark uh, and Faceless and uh, just didn't have quite enough damage. Looking back, I, I think that if I'd had Astaroth in this team, I still would not have won. In fact, I would have been further away from winning because Astaroth would have lowered my overall damage output. So I think I brought the right team. I just didn't time things correctly or maybe... Uh, maybe I didn't quite have the right combination of heroes. Maybe the enemy Oliver was just developed enough that, you know, kind of stymied me a little bit. So Divine Awakening, I went one for one. Uh, and then on Wednesday against Isher Order... I also went one for one uh, against T-Bag. This particular player was 100, I'm sorry, 297,000 power level higher than me, 297,000. And uh, this was the big problem this week. This was, this was my big problem all week long. I, again, forgot to change my team. I, I enjoy doing these fights on the live stream. I do. But if I keep getting distracted, I'm not going to do these fights on the live stream anymore because I was talking to chat and I just hit go. I probably should have beat this team. I probably should have beat this team. I should have easily crushed Thea. I should have easily crushed Ginger. If I'd have timed my ults and my attacks around Ching Mao and Fenris's blinds, my Jorgen would have shut down the enemy Galahad. If I'd have had Astaroth in here, 
instead of Kai. If I had Martha in here instead of Sebastian, I think that I would have easily won this fight. Easily won this fight. Even at 297,000 power level higher, I should have won this fight. And this was the big mistake of the week. Kark is not a tank in all situations, despite what the clickbait thumbnail has described. <laughs> so against Crowbar D, uh, this was um, this was uh, my chance to go back to my my uh, my main team, my main uh, Kark team that I use most often. Uh, this I did have a little concern going up against a a pretty high leveled Kira. Uh, however, a Kira Lars team not the best situation. And uh, again, going up against the team with two tanks, the overall damage output is going to be lower. Now, the cool thing about Kira is she has a ton of armor penetration. She doesn't need a ton of support uh, to do her damage. And the same can be said for Lars. She's got a ton of magic penetration. So if you're going to pair a, uh, a magical attack hero and a physical attack hero, these are two great options to pair together. I could also consider using uh, Orion in this team. In fact, if the enemy had Orion instead of Lars, I probably would have lost this fight. And that's honest. Between Celeste's constant magic attack boosts uh, and uh, Orion's constant magic penetration boosts, I think I would have lost this fight if it was Kira Orion. But I did take away the win against Crowbar D. Uh, and then on to Le Cavalier. Uh, Thursday and Friday were much easier fights. Um, Friday, we always have trouble with Fight Club, but we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So like uh, the previous two days, I did go one for one again. First off against Benoit. Uh, Benoit did not overpower me too much, but these these Galahad Ching Mao teams, I just I just beat them. I, I don't I don't know why this was this 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 type of team is such a huge uh, meta on our server, but my team is uniquely set to beat these types of teams. I don't think it really matters anybody that's behind Galahad and Ching Mao as long if you bring those two heroes, this team, this Astaroth Kark, Jorgen Faceless Martha team with Oliver, I think that I win this team 99% of the time. Uh, even with the, the small power advantage that they had, I was able to knock them down. The, uh, the team, the fight against Eric was a little different. Um, they overpowered me by not that much, but this was against a Ching, I'm sorry, a, a Yasmin team. And I'll be honest with you, I have not gone up against the town of Aurora Yasmins yet. And I'm terrified. I'm terrified for when these teams get their Auroras and Yasmins leveled up. I did not have a chance against this. I got wrecked. I, uh, I got wrecked. I'm not sure why I would I'm not sure how I could, you know, do something different to combat against this team. Uh, I mean, maybe using Aurora as a tank myself. I don't know. The pure damage output between Yasmin, Qingnao, and Albus, the constant pressure and avoidance that Aurora has, I'm not sure that I could have beat this team at all with the team that I have. So in the future, I will probably request to not go up against Eric in Guild Wars. And then finally, the last fight of the week against Fight Club, we did uh, win overall, and I did go two for uh, uh, two for two um, on this on this day against the Mel and his uh, again Galahad Ching Mao team. We see a, a Daredevil and Arachne. Arachne should be good against my Kark, but these teams just don't have a chance. Uh, again, I just I just seem to beat these teams constantly. If this were mobile, Daredevil is a much stronger hero on mobile that might have had a chance. Uh, Arachne is much stronger on mobile than she is on uh, Facebook as well. 
but I just beat these teams. I beat these teams every day. Um, and then uh, against John G, we had an opposing Kark team. Uh, going up against Kark teams, it's all about who ults first. Unfortunately, the enemy Kark did ult first and clear out my Martha because of their Jorgen. Now, my Jorgen is a little bit less developed than their Jorgen was by about, um, I don't know, 15 to 20,000 power level. So I should have I should have ulted first, and usually the attacking teams do ult first. But honestly, the reason why I won this fight is because Luther is such a poor tank for Kark. Uh, I think I think that if if Kark wasn't in the second position, I probably would have had a better time. I'm sorry, a harder time against this team. But because my Jorgen shuts down that Luther, basically Luther did nothing. Luther did nothing the entire fight, and I was able to easily win. Um, this is not the correct Kark team. Uh, so John G. Good, good showing, but not quite up to par. Uh, did have a very, very, very small power difference, but that was it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me during this, uh, you know, uh, Guild War weekly video. I hope that you guys recently watched the uh, the finals of the Community Guild War tournament. I uh, I game casted that live with Daniel earlier this week. It was a ton of fun, and I cannot wait to do it again. Um, stay tuned for more projects that I need help with on HeroWarsCentral.com. Uh, and check out these two videos. I think that they're going to be incredibly helpful for you and your growth on the Guild Wars fights in the future. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.